This is Marketing Jam, a show featuring the brightest minds in marketing. Brought to you by Canada Post. Head to canadapost.ca forward slash insight podcast for ideas to add value to your marketing. All right, welcome to another episode of Marketing Jam. I am so excited for a few reasons. Uh, reason one, this is our 100th episode, and so we are celebrating that we have been around a very long time, a uh, bit of an OG podcast show. Some of you have been listening since day one, so welcome to all of our loyal listeners. Uh, second thing that we're really excited to announce that we have partnered with Canada Post. You probably heard the new intro. Uh, we're gonna be talking about some really exciting uh, ventures that we're doing with Canada Post and some stories about how postage and digital and how postage and marketing is working really well together uh, in 2020 and beyond. And third thing, we are in the new Jelly Studio. So those that are watching this on YouTube or Instagram, uh, you are seeing a new background, a new style. So uh, those of you that are just listening to the audio, that's still cool too. And uh, if you go over and see the visual uh, demonstration, that's awesome as well. But welcome to Marketing Jam. And I'm so excited uh, because uh, we at Jelly are big users of Clutch. And I have Ryan Stevens here from Clutch which is very exciting. Now, Ryan, um, when you get introduced, do you like to be uh, called clutch.co or do you just go with clutch or how do you, how do you go with, how do you describe your company? Yeah, so uh, that's a really great question. I don't think we have a definitive answer for you. Um, often uh, uh, across the phone, uh, we say clutch.co uh, in, uh, in order to help people navigate to the right, uh, right website, right platform. So clutch.co works perfectly fine. Uh, internally, we go by just clutch. And where does that name come from? What is clutch? Oh man, so Clutch um, well, spurs from a, a rebranding exercise that took place about five years or so ago. Um, uh, so we, we went out seeking a name and uh, at that time found out that naming agencies existed, uh, a, a category we now cover on Clutch, just to, you know, if you're looking for it. But um, we were called Sourcing Line prior to, to Clutch. Um, that sourcing line really stemmed from sort of early days on what we were trying to solve of really helping um, you know, companies you know, source the, you know, their projects uh, and you know, tied a little bit more towards you know, outsourcing. Um, looking into you know, what the brand and what, it, uh, what we wanted people to feel and, and see, uh, we realized we needed something a little bit more evocative and, and a little bit more fresh. So we landed on Clutch. Uh, we you know, uh, tie it back to a variety of different things, uh, but largely probably that Clutch play uh, and uh, being you know, coming through in, uh, in the Clutch in the sense of uh, really helping make sure that you know, projects uh, are completed. Okay. Awesome. So I am, I am really torn with this episode because Clutch has been one of my uh, best sources for qualified traffic, meaning in our Google Analytics. Uh, for years, since Jelly started, we always analyze every month where is traffic coming from, but more importantly, we set up Google goals and so we see where is qualified traffic coming from. So we monitor people that spend more than five minutes on our site as one of our Google goals. Second thing is if they fill out a contact form um, or if they phone us. And so Clutch, especially in the last couple years, has always been in the top 10 uh, for top referring traffic. And that's people that have spent more than five minutes and you know, fill out the form, et cetera. So I, uh, I don't want everyone to know about it, but I also want everyone to know how great you guys are and, and how good you've been to Jelly. And the other one that popped up randomly was this website called The Manifest. And I was like, I didn't even register on The Manifest. And I've discovered that's uh, a birth, like a, what, do you, what do you call it? You, you kind of... Uh, we're working to build a portfolio uh, of platforms all tied to the Clutch brand. Uh, we, you know, largely uh, coin it as our sister site. Uh, okay, sister site. Okay. okay. Yep. But um, it's a, um, you know, a an effort to continue to allow um, you know users who potentially um, consume content in um, in different ways um, a, a pathway to do that. So the manifest takes more of a blog style uh, approach to a lot of this, a lot of similar content as what you're going to see on Clutch, um, and present it in a different way uh, that may be more consumable. 
And for those that are yet to go on Clutch, it's a, it's a free platform for them to list their agency on and get found. Is that kind of the best description? Yep, it's a free platform. Uh, you know, we really term ourselves as a B2B ratings and review uh, platform, you know, helping businesses connect. Um, you know, we know that there's a gap in, in, uh, in the market uh, for information regarding small to medium sized businesses and we're working to provide that. Uh, we're working to provide that to um, you know, people looking for those type of services. And to bring up UpCity, which is another similar type of site, you, you list your agency in there, you can get reviews, but your review style is way different in that you actually phone every person. You've, you had to get a phone number from every one of our clients before you actually put the review on the site. And why is that? Why aren't you going kind of the UpCity route where anyone can just review electronically? Yeah, so I mean the market uh, is changing and the business to business space is, is very different than what you're going to see in a lot of other, uh, or in, in particular in business to consumer, um, you know, uh, the, the business consumer marketplace. So the uh, veracity and the fact that all of our reviews are verified is so important and is the key differentiator uh, for, you know, uh, your listeners to really, you know, uh, internalize. Uh, right now, you, you know, there are dozens and dozens of other platforms and sites uh, and there are more each day that are going out there collecting, you know, to collect reviews and those reviews, um, you know, without calling out names may or may not, uh, you know, have some, you know, tr you know, truth or um, reliability behind them. So when you guys launched Clutch, you're a different name, and, but you've been around for how many years now? Uh, six is, is, you know, kind of the official official uh, timeline, but our founder, Mike Beers, uh, has been at it for a, a bit longer than that. So if you Google right now, I'm just using Vancouver, BC, Canada as an example. If you Google uh, Vancouver SEO agency or Vancouver PR agency, Clutch is the number one organic ranking for both of those searches. And, and why is that? What have you done to the Google rankings? That is great news uh, <laughs> to hear. Uh, you know, we, uh, the uh, Canadian Google uh, seems to love us, so we <laughs> we will bless up to to, to Google in general and uh, and uh, and say that we appreciate that. But um, you know, we work really hard at providing great content, right? That is where that's the start. Uh, whether or not we're listening, uh, we're not we're talking to SEO agencies or to uh, you know any company out there that is just building a website. It starts with you know content that is helpful to the intended audience um, and making sure that uh, we are representing um, uh, or we are serving up content that is representative of what the, that user is searching for. Uh, and it's a, a curation battle that we're you know continuing to to go through. But you know, starting with strong content, content that's helpful, um, and then making sure that we we find paths to market it and to uh, uh, get it in front of more and more and more um, uh, buyers and you know just other people who we, you know would be searching those terms. So do you think it's because you are providing a really comprehensive list? That's why Google loves you so much? Well, I think you know based on some of the things that you know Google will share and some of you know the other you know uh, uh, hypotheses that are out there is that um, you know list content as well as review content uh, is you know being favored uh, more in Google searches. So I think that's uh, in particular you know, has some something to do with it. Um, but again, I think it's uh, the helpfulness to the uh, the intended audience. Uh, you know, we, we have a really, you know, when people navigate to the site, they spend quite a bit of time, you know, looking through the site, which I think is a, is a really strong and positive uh, signal to, uh, to the Google gods and, um, you know, continue to try to focus on how we improve that experience when people, you know, when people do land on, um, you know, Vancouver SEO agencies and Vancouver PR agencies. You launched a new setup where you now actually act as an e-harmony between brands and agencies. Why don't you tell us about that? Oh man, it's still in its infancy, uh, so I don't want to praise it too much. But it is—it's all of our um, rolls into us trying to evolve as a business. Our team has such a wealth of knowledge, and uh, we're conducting thousands of reviews every month. And our team is speaking, as you mentioned, to these clients and and learning, you know, what went well, what didn't go well, what makes a service provider successful, 
and leveraging that information. Um, and, and again, trying to provide more value to the users of the platform um, has been a has a, been a big focus of ours. So to your point, we call this uh, this new service our project matchmaking service, um, and we're working to basically you know recognize that everybody who lands on the site still doesn't want to do their own filtering and doesn't want you know um, to you know sift through the site. You know we obviously know that some people are uh, you know DIY and want to do it themselves and do their own research, but others aren't. Uh, and again, I think this stems from you know where we are as humans and technology. Make the decision for me, and this is our chance, and this is our opportunity to help make that decision for them, uh, because we do have such a wealth of of really great service providers on the platform um, that uh, we're able to you know listen to these buyers' needs and then point them in the right direction so that they don't have to do it for themselves. So one, uh, you you guys matched me up about a month ago. Uh, with a company. So we are specifically in Langley, British Columbia, and they were in Surrey. So they were literally 15 minutes from our office, but they went to Clutch and they got a, a, you know, a smattering of options of uh, introductions. Uh, and we ended up meeting up. So I, I hosted them at our office and I thought it was so cool that your matchmaking service set us up with a brand that was just 15 minutes down the road. Oh, that's so great to hear. And, and please, you know, any feedback there, we're always open to, to more because that's it, it's a new program for us and we want to improve. And um, but that type of feedback is, is reassuring. Cool. So uh, I love that you are focusing on the business to business market. So uh, as far as marketing trends, what are you seeing is uh, going to be coming up in the next while that we all need to be aware of and conscious of as B2B marketers? I mean, I'm in a, you know, to the pitching our brand, right? I think it's um, recognizing that the B2B space is gonna continue to move closer to uh, what you see in the B2, B2C space, right? The, the importance of reviews, the importance of an online uh, rep, uh, reputation. Um, you know, so many buyers are, are, are making up their mind prior to ever speaking to, you know, to service providers and, um, and Making sure that you're you as an agency, whether or not you are in the digital development technology space or are you know a, an accounting firm that has existed for you know, 50 years or you know some other very traditional word of mouth businesses, um, those decisions are going to be more and more uh, decided you know um, you know online and so platforms that provide you know research reviews on um, the B2B space I think are. Uh, are going to have it have their day. Yeah. So especially there's a, a lot of websites like yours that uh, monitor software and they compare software and they rate software. Yeah. And, and so you guys actually chose to focus on agencies. Are you looking at diversifying your portfolio as far as going into other markets as well? No. No. Okay. Uh, but if they ask, yes. <laughs> no. I mean, uh, the big players in the B2B software space have it covered, right? They're duking it out. And you know we're happy to let them continue to do that. And maybe I should that that's me oversharing. <laughs> uh, but um, that is the truth. Is that uh, you know the G twos and the uh, uh, Gartner Digital Markets in the of the world they do a, a, a nice job in um, building reviews on B two B software. Um, but you know that's not what you know that's not where we're focused. And um, we have a very different value prop and, um, and, and the type of review that we're trying to provide. And so you, when it comes to diversifying into um, software, uh, it's not in the cards for us right now. Mm -hmm. So as far as um, like books or podcasts or magazines or e-newsletters, what do you subscribe to and what do you consume to, so you stay on top of your marketing game? My marketing game. So honestly, I I don't listen to a whole lot of marketing podcasts. Um, I um, I do want to give I, more uh, today. I listen to a lot of uh, just operational type uh, you know workspace podcasts. One that I have been listening to recently um, that's less you know again related to marketing, but I've really enjoyed is uh, is one called Hello Monday. It's yeah. it's a um, um, you know, a LinkedIn uh, podcast just about work in general and how to approach the workspace uh, that I think we can all really always take a step back and understand that the workspace is evolving, it is changing, and that um, um, 
and, and how you approach people and individuals and your business is so um, is so important. So um, no marketing podcast uh, for me, but I, I really do work to uh, to stay well read. Uh, you know, uh, search engine land obviously is so relevant to to our business, and uh, and those guys have always uh, you know, some of our. Um, um, uh, context there have always you know, really, uh, 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 we've really benefited from just being able to leverage them uh, for a variety of different reasons. And um, but search engine land is great. Um, you know, always you know keep a pulse on just what Google shares <laughs> or doesn't share. <laughs> but those are always so important, I think, for any um, you know search based uh, search based business. And in addition, and I think. You know, talking about uh, how I learn most, it's really um, trying to interact with our users uh, uh, are, are the businesses featured on our site. So understanding what what struggles they're seeing, what things they like about the platform, what things they you know dislike about Clutch and what we do, and then trying to, um, whether or not I agree or disagree with the feedback, learn from it. And that's mm-hmm. where I guess where I, you know, most of my learnings uh, He's in the come. trenches. Yeah, it's just kind of in the trenches and trying to keep my ears open to uh, what struggles um, the agencies featured on the platform are experiencing. And and that changes right now. You know, if you are a digital marketing agency, mm-hmm. it's different than if you are a software development agency. Mm-hmm. It's different if you're in Canada. It's different if you're in India. It's different if you're in Poland, um, middle of nowhere, Florida. They're all different struggles. <laughs> yeah and just trying to create a platform that is best for as many users as possible. I have a love-hate relationship with your review setup because I have to ask the client to get on a phone call and do a favor for me, but it, it, I'm only allowed to then do clients that actually like the work we've done, but they're also gonna give really honest feedback because they're gonna give the pros and the cons of working with our agency. Um, so I've, because of that, I've actually been asked a few times in the last couple of years, hey, can you give me a couple of phone numbers or emails of your clients so I could do a reference check? And the great thing I often say is I don't want to have my clients bugged or called by strangers that they don't know. So I'll often refer them to Clutch and say, hey, there's a software out there. It's a website. They did a bunch of phone calls for you. They did a bunch of interviews. Go there. And, and it's actually, they really like that because then they know that these are real phone calls, real reference checks that are actually pu- posted publicly. Yeah, that's so great to hear. And that's the brand that we're working to build. Uh, you know, and it's, and right now we, we, we have a brand. It can grow with business service providers, but how do we build that brand with buyers? You know, so that buyers continue to understand, you know, the process and understand that we're a reliable and verified source that they can go to um, where our reviews are going through a, a vetting process uh, so that they can, you know, eventually uh, and hopefully, you know, replace this idea of a reference check, a reference call. Um, will we ever be able to get it to, you know, 100%? Probably not. But can we help get it down, get it to, you know, 80% where, you know, you as a service provider no longer need to send strangers, to your point, to, you know, your really, you know, uh, trusted relationships. Um, with of your clients, and in particular, uh, if that you know pool of you know trusted clients is is small, there you know there's going to be a day where you have become a burden to them, and mm-hmm. that's another thing that we can help to solve uh, is reducing that burden on 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 our service providers' clients. It's really cool. Now, do you guys do any swag as Clutch? Do swag. Yeah, like T-shirts. You do like, what's your swag? Like, what's that the is, swag? That is actually a really uh, relevant question. So next week we have our our uh, sort of end of year uh, party, and I kind of went rogue and and ordered uh, long sleeve uh, clutch swag. And so for, for our listeners on audio, we have a a dark blue and a a red ish um, uh, logo. 
the shirts came in last night. They are black and orange. So <laughs> we have Halloween long sleeve t-shirts that I'm currently in the process of getting sent back and hopefully having new uh, new ones rushed so that they're here by the party next week. But uh, yeah, we we uh, you know we keep a pretty uh, casual in office culture. So t-shirts and uh, pullovers and things that are branded we we like because we can wear them around the office. Uh, mugs and uh, pint glasses and some of that typical stuff there too. But um, uh, the really relevant question because right now we have Halloween themed. Okay. Long sleeve t-shirts. No, that's actually, uh, uh, I will pass it along. We have, uh, we've gone through a little bit of an internal effort to create some things uh, for some of our, uh, for some of our agencies come December. So we have, uh, um, uh, I'll take a note to make sure that you're on that list of, uh, of teams to, that, that should be receiving some, uh, some of this, uh, some, this surprise. I'll keep it a surprise. Because it's hot again, like coloring books are hot again for adults. There's adult coloring books. Why not an adult connect the dots? So that's there you true. go. Yeah. Back of menu. That was my favorite thing back in the yeah, you know, yeah, right? restaurant. Like I love that. Yep. Yeah. White Spot offers, still offers that. It's pretty nice here in Canada, mostly in British Columbia. White Spot restaurants, when you come up to Vancouver, you got to check it out. They have a BC burger. It's delicious. So uh, for you personally, are you an iOS or an Android guy? I am an iOS guy. And what are the apps that you can't live without? What's your go-to apps on an everyday basis? <sighs> Oh man, what do I use? I mean, I'm picking up my phone. I just want to take a, a look at the the most frequently used. Uh, well, obviously, with Spotify, I I you know I get sucked into the Instagram. Uh, mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, I it's getting cold here. I know it's probably been cold there. So uh, my Uber Eats bill has been out of control. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but you know, I outside of that, I I'm not as uh, uh, big of a, an app user. Spotify, I, I pay my bills yeah. <laughs> via apps. But, uh, not a not a you know uh, not a big consumer on, on yeah. apps. R random fact: We do not have Uber yet in Vancouver, Canada, uh, but we have a thing called Skip the Dishes, which was created in Winnipeg, Canada, which is the center of our country, and and they've been amazing. Uh, but sadly, we are without Uber at the moment, so we're hoping it comes soon. So um, for you, uh, outside of Clutch, outside of Manifest, what is um, three things that every B2B marketer needs to be doing uh, in the next few months? What's something that like, man, you need to be doing these three things outside of our awesome listicle sites? Yep, 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 yep. All right, B2B marketer. Well, I think number one is focusing on your client <laughs> so yeah. that you are creating, you know, relationships uh, that are meaningful um, and that you will, you know, at some later point be able to send them to Clutch <laughs> mm -hmm. to talk. So I, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, not to spend too much time on this number one, but I think that is like somehow lost in uh, the B2B space of that you know, they're, these are your customers and bending over backwards is part of the job. <laughs> um, so number one, focus on your customers, you know, uh, and um, making sure they're happy. It's one thing I, I want to spend on as, um, you know, on this topic is that it's, um, you know, often I think in expectations setting, game so mm -hmm. tied into the same theme is like manage and set expectations and manage and set expectations and communicate that was over and over and over do not over promise at any point in this game uh, because it you know you know it will 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 come back to um you know to to bite to bite you and we see it every day is that you know um service providers are are hungry for the business uh, 
mm-hmm. and don't manage expectations mm-hmm. and then end up with a very dissatisfied, um, mm-hmm. you, know, dis, you know, dissatisfied client at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to count that as number two, manage expectations. Mm-hmm. That's great. And number three, and I, I know this may seem like an odd one, but pay attention to your email, you know, mm. your info, your info ads, your contact forms, mm-hmm. find somebody who can manage that inbox reliably and quick. I, 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 I don't want to swear, but I can swear that every day our team hears a client say they're the first company that responded back to me they're the first company that responded back to me they're the only company that responded Mm. back to me and these can be you know these can be companies that have or these can be individuals that had a hundred thousand dollar budgets two hundred thousand dollar budgets you know i'm not just talking about the mom and pops and the Mm. you know the less sophisticated buyer that is you know only looking to spend you know you know, five hundred thousand dollars. No, you know, it's um, so important that you kind of treat every email uh, the same because you never know who's on the other side of that email. And uh, it's been it's been it particularly interesting to me because there have been multiple times out there that I have gone and um, for various you know uh, internal reasons gone out and shot an email you know two or three sentences mm-hmm. because I'm busy I don't want to spend you know a million hours writing a very detailed email with my my budget and you know what specific things I want I just want to you know I know that I have a big budget and I know that I I need somebody to help me I just want someone to you know respond to my email before I start diving into whether or not those things and multiple times it's two weeks later two weeks later that I mm. somehow receive an email back being like oh sure we're interested in your business mm. really really <laughs> mm. uh, so I think that is a really third bullet point that is so important is that you know yeah you can suss out some of the you know emails yeah. and contact forms that may not yeah. be worth your time but don't do it to all of them because you never really know who's on the other side of that contact form. That's awesome, man. That's really, really good advice. I, uh, I had started something when I was in high school and I'd email all these people and call all these people. This is back when Hotmail just launched. So I'd go to my, you know, the, the computer lab at UVic and email people and, and I would often never get a reply back, never get a call back. And I remember swearing to myself as a 17 year old, like I will always email everyone back. So I, uh, Maybe I, I, I do that too much, so I'm, I'm trying to figure that balance of like... It's a balance, it's a balance. It's a, yeah. So here's a question for you. I um, often get asked, hey, how do you vet if an agency is good or, or how do you know, right? Outside of clutch references, outside of their website, outside of their case studies. So one thing I often suggest is check out their glass door and see yes. the happiness of their staff because if happy staff equals a happy agency and they're happy to work there and excited to work there. So one request for Clutch is to integrate Glassdoor rating, much like iTunes integrates the Rotten Tomatoes score yep. into there. I would say integrate Glassdoor if you can. Yep. Yeah, you know, um, uh, well first. That's my user request as a, as a customer. <laughs> so, and I'm taking note of it and I will, uh, I. I I know that my founder uh, and my team will be happy to hear that request because um, some of our best performing agencies, and it's it. it uh, I don't conduct, conduct client interviews anymore, but when I when I was, there were the best um, and most glowing reviews. Always talked about the company's team, mm-hmm. and, and not just the you know one individual that they worked with, but everybody that mm-hmm. you know they ran into. They you know would glow about you know people who wanted to do the work that you know wanted to do good work um and so we agree you know on this glass door front if it is a very very um valuable source uh, on understanding the service provider that you're going to go with right how do they treat their how do they treat their team how do they even treat their employees do people like to work there are people happy um so while it's a different take on um, evaluating a company, mm-hmm. it's it's a worthwhile it's a worthwhile one to look at because you're going to get some you know some insight into you know the, their their management structure and mm-hmm. and while sometimes I think the the personal nature of Glassdoor is is a little a little harsh 
uh, I think it's it's really important information, and it's helpful to you know get an insider's look into how things you know are operating. It's awesome. Well, Ryan, it was a real honor to have you on the show. Ryan from Clutch.co, uh, check them out. If you're not listed there already, make sure you get listed. Uh, they've been a great resource for Jelly. We're huge fans. So uh, finally, we get to talk in person. I've, I've emailed with your company over the years. <laughs> and so to, to put a face behind the company is really exciting. To put a voice behind the company is really exciting. So thank you again, Canada Post, for uh, presenting and sponsoring this podcast. Uh, we're really excited about this partnership. 100 episodes, a lot to celebrate. So thank you again for joining us on Marketing Jam. I'm Darian, your host. This is Ryan from Clutch.co, and we'll see you next week on The Jam. Outro music. <laughs>